Hey everybody, what is up? It is your favorite health and beauty professional, Kiki Carr. Welcome to Makeup But First Skincare, a series in which I teach women of color how to treat their dark spots and acne at home. So if that is something that you're interested in, be sure to stay tuned. As I stated, my name is Kiki Carr. I am a licensed esthetician, a cosmetic formulator, and I most certainly do hold a whole bunch of scientific degrees. But none of that qualifies me to talk about the subject of acne more than actually having the condition myself. So it is my goal to bring you everything I know, everything I learned, and everything that I have used to help me. So if that is something that you may be interested in, hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss any future uploads. So jumping right in, starting with the skincare as usual, this is the state of my skin. I feel like it looks magnificent. I am doing something a little bit different today. I usually come to you with my skin already prepped, but today I am actually going to prep my oily skin for the makeup with you. We are going to be working on the dark spots, the hyperpigmentation and the hypopigmentation because to be honest, I really have not been worried about the spots on my face at all. I do want them gone, but it's not as of a huge burden and hassle and it, it's not as worrisome to me as the bumps. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tone the face with the Pineapple Glow Mist by the Clear Skin Club. Now this is a pineapple toner. So as I told you guys before, enzymes really help with like texture and dark spots. Next, we're gonna go in with the Pharmacy Feeling Good Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Serum. A lot of the times, anti-aging ingredients will work for oily skin and acne. And of course, we are going to moisturize using the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. And then lastly, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Avo Cosmetics Rapid Dark Spot Repair. Okay, so that is it for the skincare portion of today's video. Now let's hop into the makeup. So for today's makeup, we're gonna probably be doing like work makeup because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I say I feel like all of the time, but I feel like my last few makeup videos have been very glamorous and I want to like show you what I do on an everyday basis because child it certainly ain't that it really ain't this step that I'm taking right now with my brows but I'm only gonna use a little bit of this brow um it's not even a brow stuff actually it's primer okay um, but I use it on my brows so the only reason that I'm using this primer is because you know I just put my skincare on and I used a little bit of oil so we don't want the pencil slipping and sliding around but this makeup look is gonna be really quick it's gonna be like what I do and what I use when I'm actually getting ready for work you know simple something that's not complicated I don't get glamorous every time I have to go somewhere okay like I keep it real basic real minimal the only I'm, I, I try to tell you guys that you know you can glam it up with a lash like that's what really brings the makeup and makes the makeup look better than what it actually is is putting on like a really flashy beautiful glamorous show-stopping lash but most times like that's really all I've done was just like fill in my brows put on a little bit of concealer and put on a nice beautiful lash if you guys don't know like I absolutely love this concealer it's so good Thank you. 
Girl, look at them smile lines. Ugh. Anybody get a surgeon out there that they can... <laughs> That's what I get for being so damn friendly. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the flour and set that, cause, girl. Now I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Velvet Foundation. We're gonna use this as our foundation and then we're like almost done now i'm using my little blend of lord mercier and sasha buttercup and pat mcgrath now i told you guys about the nose contouring brush before right oh love it i'm gonna go ahead and take some of this lys i forgot what this stood for but you guys know it's a black owned brand i'm gonna take some of this and I'm going to bronze my face and contour just a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of this Blink um, Glow Getter Face Palette and use a little bit of the highlighter to highlight my nose. I love the palette, period. Like, it's just a really good palette for... Um, like travel and stuff because it has like four different highlighters and four different blushes that's really convenient but the highlighters is really what do it for me because they are so subtle now I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC mineralized skin finish and we're just going to kind of once over the whole face next going in with a little bit of a raisin blush by MAC Okay, lastly, we're gonna go in with Divine Neutrals as usual. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna show you, it's so dirty. We use it every makeup video. But I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Cinnamon Roll right here on my lash line. See, when I get in, when I get into the shadows, that's what we that's why I start going left. I'm gonna take a little bit of chic happens, put that in the inner corner just to brighten it up just a little bit, and tap on a little bit of good vibes. Just a quick tap. Like this is so flesh tone, like you can't really even tell. I love good vibes. So now I'm gonna go in with Demolition from Urban Decay. This is a brown liner. You know, we do want the outline still, but we just, we don't want it too sultry. So a dark, deep brown is, is very fitting. Okay, so do you see how we're just like looking put together? Like it's, it's nothing major. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the Bratty Lash. It can be found on OptimalBeauty.net. Actually, I don't think the Bratty Lash is loaded on the site. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna need me to load this on the site because you love it so much. line my lips with the MAC chestnuts and lastly I'm going to take a little bit of the MAC Odyssey I've showed you guys this before such a phenomenal color it's dark girl friendly okay you know purple is the dark skinned woman's pink and this is just such a beautiful color it's ideal for every day and I love it so much
I'm gonna put a little bit of my buxom right on top because you guys know I'm a gloss girl. Gloss just elevates any lipstick color you have, okay? Okay, so this is the finished look. It's simple yet elevated. All because of the lash and the lip gloss. I'm telling you, when you throw on a lash, it simply elevates your look. It bumps it all the way up. Do me a favor, be sure to hit like if you like this video. Share this video with a friend who you think can benefit from it too. The skincare advice, the makeup tips. If you yourself would like to learn how to treat your dark spots and acne at home or play in a little bit of makeup with me, be sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll be sure to see you on the next one. Mwah!